I was just checking out this article, old news from last week, about Iman Shumpert's divorce with his wife. I believe her name is Tiana something. Actress, beautiful woman. Um, And I just looked at it like, man, just for a man or woman who is making more money or has more resources, marriage has become a huge risk. Not marriage, technically. Divorce has become a huge risk. And it basically, the layout, it showed what this man was losing. She was getting four properties from this man worth $10 million. He has to write $8,000 a month for child support for the two daughters they have together. He has to pay for their private school fees. And he had to give her a one-time check for some million-dollar amount, some multi-million-dollar seven-figure amount. And I'm just sitting there like, wow. So in essence, when you get married now, the person is automatically entitled to 50% of whatever you have. And upon divorcing you, that person can take the 50% with them from the marriage. And I just don't believe that's fair. Now, I know there's such thing as prenups, postnups, etc., but it's usually very difficult when you are going through a divorce if you have money to just come out clean, unless you got some really ironclad stuff going on. I remember watching videos of him back in the day and he used to say, yo, I didn't, I didn't spend my money. I, I wasn't, I wasn't like these other guys. I wasn't buying cars and stuff. I saved my money. I invested. So he probably had a good piece of cake and she just took half of it. Now, another thing I noticed in their uh, relationship was they had two daughters and they did a, like a little uh, reality show. And you could even see how the daughters were speaking to him in a playful way, but it was a reflection of how the woman his wife probably spoke to him too. So the daughters, you know, neck rolling. Daddy, you better keep your mouth closed before mommy and I got to kick you out of here. So and so. And it's cute when the daughters are, you know, two, three, four years old, but they're picking up that kind of rhetoric from the mother. And if the mother doesn't respect the husband in front of the children, then the children are not going to respect the father. And it's kind of crazy just to see how all of that, that stuff unfolded, man. But divorce is so whack. It is so difficult. And as somebody who's going through it, man, I don't wish that on my worst enemy. I'm praying that this brother is able to regroup. But that was a hell of a hit he had to take. And men, let this be a lesson to you and women as well that are making a lot of money. Whoever's making the most bread, they're going to have to break a half of it off to the other person. That's why Oprah never got married, I think, to Stedman. And Stedman makes probably a million, two million a year, but he ain't making Oprah money. But there's, a, there's something to be taught from this. Is marriage worth it to people who are making a lot of money when there's so much to lose if you go through divorce financially? And more importantly than that, you lose your kids. For the man, you always end up losing uh, access to your children. So let me ask y'all, do you think divorce impacts men or women more and how so?